everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Japanese Castle Explorer video. I hope you're all well. Um, so yeah, I've done a couple of castle videos in a row and uh, it's really great to be back into uh, the Japanese castle world and back on Facebook sort of uh, re-establishing contact with the lots of uh, people who I knew from before. So um, hi to all of you and uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. No. <laughs> Guys, I have a, a book review for you and not castle related. Um, for those who want to see castles, uh, you can uh, enjoy enjoy the scenery behind me. But uh, today I want to talk about a book and a book about Japanese sword fittings. Uh, Japanese sword fittings, I'm sure many of you know. Um, here is an example of one. There you go. It's a small disc, pierced. So uh, that would be for the sword. The, the, the tang goes through that hole. And Anyway, it's all very decorative and pretty and uh, I've been a fan of this type of thing Tsuba and um, other sword fittings for a long, long time. So it was about 20 years ago, actually, that I picked up this book. This book here, the Bauer Collection. And uh, it is just an, uh, an, an amazing book, an awesome book, a beautiful book. And uh, it says here, the Bauer Collection, Japanese sword fittings, something in French, and 636. So this is a numbered edition, and I think there was perhaps a thousand or twelve hundred thousand of these uh, produced and it's just a stunning book guys so upon opening the book there's uh, the table of contents of course and then there are uh, quite a few pages written by two gentlemen one is the current keeper of the collection and the next is by B.W. Robinson he is the man who went through this collection of oh, 2,600 pieces and he catalogued everything he put everything in uh, grouped by school and then by generation and um, he, he did amazing work to um, make put order to this massive collection and uh, he does say of the collection that it's um, representative uh, sorry it, it represents well basically every maker every every style of Japanese sword fitting it's, is represented here oh sorry um, so yeah after those introduction uh, pages it um, goes through the, 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 I guess, the captions, is that, is that the word I want to say? The, yeah, descriptions of the items, so it's got, you know, the maker, uh, what is the item, when was it made approximately, and um, what, uh, what is depicted, or ha what is the material. So, um, yeah, detailed information, detailed and brief information about the item. So that, that goes for so many pages, that's like 150 pages. Yes, and then after that you've got 160 pages of pictures. Now, there's about whoa, 15 or so pages of color, color plates, and uh, the stuff is just breathtaking. I mean, the quality of the workmanship, the preciseness, it is just amazing to see. And then you've got another, uh, excuse me, another, well, 140 or so pages of black and white photos. Now, it would be ideal that every single page is in color, but, you know, it wasn't possible. And you can still truly understand how beautiful these are, even in black and white, guys. So beautiful. Uh, there's Tsuba, which is the sword guard, and you've got other um, pieces of metalwork that were um, put on the other, uh, were put on the handle of the sword. Uh, also, the what else is there? There are small knives called Kozuka. So there's a bunch of them in there, and also some small or uh, short swords, Tanto or Wakazashi. And some of those are just amazing. I mean, uh, they're out of this world. I mean, they're, they're so far beyond what you'll see on, on eBay, <laughs> which is probably not so amazing to think of, but um, just breathtaking in their quality and art artistry. Just amazing. So, after all of these pages and pages and pages of wonderful pictures, then you've got lists, which doesn't sound too interesting, but um, lists of makers, list uh, of uh, theme, yeah, everything's in themes, you're like um, fish, you know. These are all the pages and items that have fish in them and all the different types of fish and types of flowers and types of trees and um, buildings and everything is cross-referenced, you can easily find stuff. And uh, now something very valuable and something that makes this quite a resource is at the back of the book every uh, artist's signature is captured in a photo and then uh, you know translated or so you can see and you can read the makers and all the generations 
it really is a staggering resource. If this is what you're into, guys, I mean, um, I haven't looked at other books, to be honest. This is the only book I have of this sort of standard and this sort of quality, but it is just a staggering collection, guys. If you ever see one for sale, I recommend you get it because um, you're not going to need many others beyond this book. It is just amazing, guys. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to leave that there. So thank you very much for joining me for this book review, and uh, I hope you're all well. Take it easy. See you.